Mmm. Looks perfect and tastes just as good. Isara, let's talk for a bit. Sorry for rambling on so much about my past earlier. Don't sweat it. It was fun hearing you reminisce about the good old days. Come on, you don't have to pretend with me. I know I can tend to... go on sometimes, when it comes to my brother. You said it, not me. Anyway, I don't think it's something for you to be embarrassed about. <clears throat> hey, Alfin. When you were a kid, was there ever a time when you had to bury someone younger than you? Well, it's hard to say. I'm guessing that you have, though. Yeah. During the previous crown contest with the Lord before Dohalim, life back then was truly hell. <clears throat> I think that's why I tried to ignore what Miguel was telling me for so long. Because I was afraid of going back to such a dark time. Of losing hope. I wanted to believe in our paradise so much... ...that I doubted the one person I should have trusted most. I don't blame Lord... ...blame Dohalim for that. I simply didn't want to face facts. And I ended up trying to project my ideals onto everyone else. It's strange. Whenever you and Dohalim talk about men and Sia, it's always like it's some big failure. We're talking about fixing 300 years worth of damage here. Isn't it a bit optimistic to think it was all going to be resolved after only five? You might be right. Maybe it was a mistake when men and Sia... No. When I decided to stop seeing the darkness in our society. I have to admit the truth. To myself, first of all. See you tomorrow. Rise and shine. We're almost ready to leave. 